Suppose that there are three arithmetic progressions and the sum to n terms of each of them are given by S1, S2 and S3. Now, it's also given here that the first term of each of them is 1 and the common differences are 1, 2 and 3 respectively. We need to show that S1 plus S3 that's equals to 2 times S2. So let's begin. So we'll begin with our first one, the first AP. So let's consider the first AP, the sum up to the nth term. We know we'll use the general formula sn which is given by n over 2 multiplied to 2a plus n minus 1 times the common difference d so here it's given here that for the first ap we have s1 this is the first ap the sum is equals to n over 2 multiplied to so here the first term is a so we have 2 times 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference which is also 1 so let's simplify this so s1 is going to be equals to n over 2 multiplied to 2 plus n minus 1 which is equals to n over 2 multiplied to n plus 1 so let this be number 1 next for the second ap then the second arithmetic progression we are given that the first term has a value equals to 1 and the common difference has a value of 2 so that means the sum s2 will be equals to n over 2 because we're still considering the sum to n terms. So we have n over 2. So this is only a notation here. S2 does not mean sum to the second term. Uh, we have n over 2 multiplied to 2 times 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference 2. Which would be equals to n over 2 multiplied to 2 plus 2n minus 2. And this is going to give us a value n squared. So this is a number 2. And for the third arithmetic progression, we have the first term given by 1 and the second common difference that's equals to 3. Such that S3, so not the sum to the third term, but the sum of the nth term will be n over 2 multiplied to 2 times 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference d. So this is going to give us n over 2 multiplied to 2 plus 3n minus 3 which is equals to n over 2 multiplied to 3n minus 1 so this is equation number 3 now what we'll do well let's start from the left hand side so on the left hand side we have to add s1 plus s3 so what's the value of s1 so s1 we have obtained this is equals to n over 2 multiplied to n plus 1 this will get added to s3 so s3 value is n over 2 multiplied to 3n minus 1 so we can take n over 2 as the common factor so we have n over 2 this will get multiplied to n plus 1 plus 3n minus 1 so positive 1 then negative 1 goes away 3n plus n this is going to be 4n so we have n times n over 2 multiplied to 4n which are simply equals to 2n squared and n squared we have already obtained that this is our s2 so this is going to be equals to 2 times s2 which is the expression on the right hand side hence we have successfully showed that s1 plus s3 this is going to be equals to 2 times s2 